Hello, and thank you for joining me again. I'm Timbo Tuke, and this is The Joy of Painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we paint some scary ones a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's start up this adventure. Okay, here we go. You can see we have a black canvas today. And we are going to be painting a continuation of our Helm's Deep series. That's right. This one is the Devilry of Saruman. What is that explosion? Oh my, we're going to put a trite on the canvas here today. So let's get started. Let's get started. We're just going to come in. I've got the black canvas and I've prepared it by putting a very, very thin coat of liquid clear down on that. That's right. So I'm just going to go into some of my titanium white. Now we just, we are deep in Helm's Deep today. Oh, if that makes any sense to you. And what it is, is we're going to paint in layers. The first layer is going to be the rocks in the back. So those are just up here in this top portion. So I've got some titanium white, but I just, I don't want to go on with straight titanium white. We're just trying to get a foggy color. A nice foggy color for the rocks in the back because there's some mist and smoke and things like that coming up. So what I want to do is I just want to put down in the back very lightly. We're going to put this down and this is just mist that's back there and we'll put some rocks and things. There we go. That's all I'm going to do for that. Maybe down a little further. This is just for our background. Just for the background. There we go. And you do just kind of those crisscross patterns. Don't mix it too much. We don't want all the color to just be one bland color. That's right. There we go. Mix off our brush. Now, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope this finds you well. There we go. So we just soften some of this out. There we are. And we'll come over that with some layers. Now, if you're doing that, there we go. Now, cleaning off the brush. I can't beat it on the easel like I like to. Beat the Sauron out of the brush. And in today's episode, it might be the Saruman, because he's the devilry that works here. But usually I just beat it out of the out of the brush there, and we're going to, down in our rubbish bin, we just beat the Sauron out of the brush down there. Okay, now, what we're going to do, if you have a little too much liquid clear, and your paint thinner was a little too thick on the brush, we can just come in, and with a paper towel, we just rub this in. It doesn't matter, because this is just pushing that color into our canvas. There we go. And you see that way it's not too wet. It's not going to be too runny. There we go. And just use circles. So if it does pick up the color, it's just kind of that mist and fog that's rolling off of there. There we go. And you can just even come down here. You don't want that liquid clear on there too heavy. If you do, you'll find once you paint, your paint runs right down the painting, and you don't want that. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to come to our palette knife. And again, like I said, we have some rocks and things like that in the background. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our palette knife, that same gray color, this is night, and with the same gray color, we're just going to come 
and we're just giving no real shapes. We're just letting the canvas pick this up. It's just rocks in the background. These are part of those cliffs that keep Helm's Deep protected from attack in the rear. You're not going to have an army. No army of orcs is going to be making that climb to come right over the mountain. There we go. And we just just putting some shapes in there. Just letting the canvas take it off the knife. Oops. There we go. Now I'm using this black canvas and it puts quite a glare on there sometimes. So I have to turn it. So with these black canvases, I might be stepping in front of you a little bit. I do apologize, but I try and stay off to the side as much as I can. There we go. There we go. So you can even come back over some of these spots. Just given these cliffs in the back. That's what it is. That's what it is. If you have to, grab a little bit more, mix it up right on the palette. There we go. Mix that up. Just peel it off and just come down. There we are. Some of this will go right over the top of. This has just given us some rocks in the back. And our story will go right over the top of them. There we go. Just bring it right down the canvas. Don't take too much time or thought with this. Whoever is viewing your painting, their imagination will know what it's supposed to be and they'll fill in any deficiencies for your artwork. I tell you, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. You let them know what they're supposed to see and most of the time, all but the, all but the most cold-hearted critics will see what you try and get them to see. That's right. So we have these rocks in the back. There we go. Those are the cliffs that just come up behind the Hornberg. There we go. We can take them down a little bit further on the side that's closest to us. That's, that's the perspective we're coming from. We're standing off this way and we're looking over at Helm's Deep that way. So what's on this side will be closest to us. So this will be the last part that we paint. We'll start putting in our layers. What's furthest back? What's in front of that? What's in front of that? And that way we give our painting some good perspective. If you believe me on that. <laughs> there we go. Come in, maybe give it a little bit of dark in there. Those give you a shadow in there too. There we are. There we are. Now, of course, you're going on the black canvas. So there's already the deep set shadows that are, that are built into this painting. But this gives you some variance. Put that, there you go. Right back in there. There we go. So it doesn't look like much right now, but it just gets pushed into the background. So that's not the main focus of the painting. So we don't have to worry about that too much. Now, what we do have to worry about is our keep that's going to be right over here. This is where the keep will be in the Hornberg Tower. So some of this we can even, Just scrape out a bit. There we go. And that doesn't matter. We're going to be right over on top of that, right on top of that. So now we want our keep. There's the, the main gate is over here as we look at it. So I'm going to come just to some of my ivory black I'm using. Oh, I didn't go over the colors. We don't have many colors we're using today. Ivory black, uh, burnt umber, alizarin crimson, 
and phthalo blue, titanium white, of course, and a little bit of cadmium lemon. That's what we're using. This is not going to have a lot of colors today, but we're going to put this right up here. Here's, here's the keep right here. And you can see that's very black. That's why we put that background there, just to have something behind it so we would be able to see it. There we go. And we come here and we're just bringing this down, bringing this down. As I said, this is the main gate that our bridge comes up to now. And what we do is we'll put this down with the black and we'll come back and highlight it with the details. So you'll be able to see that point. There we go. And this is where our bridge comes off. Right there, you know that bridge. You know that bridge. And then we're probably gonna have to put a lot more ivory black on here today. There we go. Now, whenever you're doing geometric shapes like this, whenever you're doing these shapes, it's good that you make it the right angle. And when I'm painting like this, sometimes I cock my head and I get the wrong angles, but you can come back and you just turn your knife a bit and look for that angle. There we go. There we go. Just bringing that down, bringing that down. Now, if we want to, it's going to get a little dark at the bottom. We don't have much there. So maybe come just with some of that gray we had and just just fill in some down there. It doesn't have to be much, doesn't have to be a lot. Just make up that misty gray. There we go. And that's just going to give something. And as I said, we're going to come right on top of all that. So you can see I have some, some things there that are going on. We'll fill it in. This doesn't matter. But I did want to fill that in because that's where our bridge is going to be. So we do want to be able to show a gap in the wall. There we go. And then again, <clears throat> we can even come back in and do the same with a paper towel. You're just pulling some of that extra paint off. That way it's a little easier to go back on top of. There we go. And maybe we want to lighten that up over there. Might be a little too light, but that's okay. That's okay. Again, come back with the paper towel. There we go. That just gives us some fog in the back. There we are, there we are. All right, let's get back. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna come and put a little more ivory black because I know I'm gonna be running out of that with the wall I'm doing today. There we go. There we are. All right, get some more of that. As I said, it's not very often that we come into straight ivory back, straight ivory black, 
but we do want to do it in today's painting. There we go. Bring this down, bring this down. Then what we're going to do, this is a little tricky. You want to do an arch over this. So I hope I'm not too much in your way. Hope I'm not too much in your way. So we go here, bring it over. Getting that to stick. That's what we're trying to do. Just trying to get that so you can see. There we go. That way you can see that that ramp that goes up to our main gate will be there. There we go. And we're going to come this way. Just bringing that down, keeping that angle we had. Oh, I picked up some on my finger. Don't do that, it'll get everywhere if you do that. There we go. And we're just filling in this color as best we can. Sometimes it doesn't want all stick. You just have to go right back over that. There we go. And this is putting a lot of paint down. So this one will take quite a while to dry when we have so much paint on there. But you really want it to build up that structure. There we go. Come back here and we're gonna give him Little face there, there we go. And then I'm going to flip it over just to give him an angle off back this way. There we go, and you're just trying to bring that straight down. Sometimes that paint will wanna get away from you. There we are. Okay, and then, of course, in the back is the Hornberg. That is that tall spire that sticks up from the keep. He's in the back, so we'll come back and we'll put this angle back in. But we just want to make sure we have that. Want to make sure we have that sticking up. And you can see, so we did that formations in the back. And that way, that way when we put the dark on there, it just sticks right out and you can see the structure. There we go. And again, we're using a lot of paint on this one. So this can get pretty thick. There we go. Want to make sure you're not taking the paint off. Now, what I'm going to do here, since my edge is getting a little wobbly, I'll just come and I'll put in the edge just like this. Oh, I touched that paint again. I got to keep my finger out of the way. Otherwise, I'll have it all over my face. I won't even know it. And you'll be going, Timbo, you've painted your face again. Oh, we know it happens. It happens. There we go. There we go. So that comes down just that way.
right over the top there. And this, just put a line right there. We'll come back with a highlight so you'll be able to see that better. Because those are the ramparts up there for the, for the keep. Now, we have our wall that comes out. And we're just putting this, again, just putting this in. And we're just pushing that paint right into the canvas. Again, it's a very thick paint today. And we'll come back and we'll highlight this. There we are. So you can see, we've got it built up on the side. And what we're going to do now is we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some highlights. We'll do some highlights right on there. So I'm going to clean off my knife. So you can see today is, is mainly a palette knife painting. That's right. So we will come to our titanium white. We're going to come in here, mix it into this gray color, maybe even take a little bit of our burnt umber and put in there. We're trying to get this stone color. Just mix it together, lift it up, pull it down. A little more of our burnt umber in there. Oops, I'm getting my hand into paint all over today. There we go. Maybe a little lighter for some of the sides. Did it again. Oh, I tell you what, I don't know what's going on today. Maybe that was the palette telling me, hey, put some more white in there. Lighten that up a little bit more. There we go. And you know what? This is moonlight, so we can even come in a little bit of our phthalo blue. You see that? Oh, that. You don't need much, that's for sure. You don't need much. But you do want to mix it in. You don't want that blue. You just want that blue giving it a tint, but you don't want blue streaks throughout. There we go. And as you see, it doesn't take much of that blue at all. It really kind of gives it that lighter shade. Maybe go a little bit lighter even. We can always darken it back up if we feel we must. Just pick that paint up and pull it down. Just stretch it out real thin. Give it a good mix. Now, we don't have to mix it so it's one solid color, but it's not one of those days where we want it real marbly. This isn't made of marble. No, no. Stone that's been hewn from the mountain. There we go. Okay. So we have our bridge. It comes in right here. And we just give it a line and then just pull down. 
There we go. And we mix it in with that black as you pull it down, giving it shadow so the top will be highlight that catches, catches the light of the moon and everything else. And the rest you just pull down. There we go. That can pull down the shadow. There we are. Come back, wipe the dark off that you picked up, and then come back and we'll pick up a little more. Just cut across to get a line. And what we do is we're just going to give it right up top here. There we go. It's just pick it up. And you pull it down. There we are. Just mix it together as you pull it down. You don't want this to break like it's one of your mountain sides. But you do want it to mix together so it's not so bright. There we go. Now you can even come in and just with a knife, just tap in some lines there. There we go. That way you see This was made by man and not, not formed by creation, no, oh, no. And you don't have to get super detailed with it, but you just put it in. There we go. There we are. Now let's come to our filbert brush. We do have a door here. We have a gate. And that gate is right here. Being defended by the men of Rohan. There we go. All right. And you don't have to get too detailed with that gate. But if you make a break there, just come back and fix it. There we go. There we go. Now, this side is a little bit brighter. So you can see the highlight over here a little better. There we are. Just touch on that corner. Now we're going to do this side much in the same fashion, but we darken it up a bit and leave your painting separated. Leave that up there, but mix your darker gray down here. That way you can come back to that color up there when you want to do another highlight. There we go. So we're wanting a gray as well, but just a darker gray. But we want to make it out of that one because we want it, we want it to keep the same tones in it. Even though it's darker, it'll have those same tones, those same shades 
that pick up, so it gives your painting more continuity. Oh, listen to me. I talk as if I know what I'm, I'm talking about. All right, I don't really. I don't. So we come up here, and we give it a highlight up top. There we go. And just bring that wall down. Bring it down. There we go. So giving it that darker side, it gives you that angle. And we'll just come back, wipe off our knife. There we go. And I'm just going to come in here. Like I said, you don't have to. Spend a lot of time doing this. But you do want to give it some shape and angle and that makes it look just using your knife that quickly we've just put it in and then you can go and use the short short side of your knife just to cut in some bricks make sure you're keeping your angles these make sure they go straight up and down. Um, painting on a slant again with my head cocked. So it doesn't always turn out the best. Just put the indication. You don't have to do each individual brick. Just as it goes up and down. That way you can see. You can see that it was made by man. That's right. All right. Now we're going to come up to our highlight gray again, and we're going to just highlight the side here. There we go. And we'll just pull this across. And this is a bit of a spire, so you can give it a spindly look. And you can do it however you want to do it. But again, remember, you're going to pick up some of the dark. And what we're going to do is we're going to do different sections. So we want to come back into our lighter portion. And then we go right next to this. Giving us some variances in the lights and darks. back and do another. Just leaving a little gap in that dark area between them. Going a little wider as you come down. Now we do need to set this one in just quickly, gently, just come through there. There we go. back up to the light and bring it across there we go there we are now you can just kind of come back over and just mix it in a bit more but that way it gives us that shape up there this is a bit of a different type of structure Then the front gate. And just for the purpose of our story, just making sure the whoever is viewing our painting knows that this one is in a different spot. Just back there. There we go. Now we'll come back down to our great wall of defense over here. Or so they thought, or so they thought. There we go. We give our wall some highlight there. 
and bring it down. A little bit heavier pressure than when you're making rocks, that's right. This is our wall. Let's try and make it a little bit, a little bit lighter, standing out a little bit more. Now it's going to be a little darker as it gets into the shadow back this way. So that will make sense with your painting. But there we go. Now I'm getting a little messy on the side here. There's a reason for that. There is a reason for that, and I think most of you may have guessed it. That's right. Old Sodomon, the dirty dog that he was, he knew of the culvert that let out the water. And so he planted to use a device that not many in Middle Earth had ever seen before. Oh, what type of device could turn stone into fire. That's right. So how are we going to do this? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just going to try and figure this out. I'm going to come right here to some of our alizarin crimson. I'm just going to put it on my one inch brush. And we're just going to rub some of this on here. Now, alizarin crimson is very dark, but it's transparent. So I'm just going to put some in here, right there. Doesn't need to be too much. It'll. And you see, I waited to come over the wall knock some of that dark off. I waited to come over the wall until I had put it most other places I wanted it to go and we're going to reach up a little bit here. So you see it's a transparent color. You can see through it and I'm mixing in with what's in the back a little but it's what's next. It's what happens next and I'm just going to set this one off to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into some of my cadmium lemon and I'm going to go back up and I'm going to make an orangish color here. A little more of that. Load it up on the fan brush and now this is where that explosion happens. That's right. So that comes up. Now let's go right into some cadmium lemon here. We really want to brighten this part up now. Now we come back and what we do is our brightest of that yellow is going to be up here. Now, this, put some more of that red down there, and we just mix that together. Now, we just pull this, this force goes out. There we go, that explosive force. Oh, the devilry of Saruman, as Aragorn called it. Oh, what is that? What is that? There we go. Just pulling that up and away. 
there we are. So that's quite the explosion. Now with this, you can come back later on. These colors will fade out a little bit. And if they aren't as bright after a little while, you can come back when the paint's dry and you can just add in some color back into that. If you want it to be more colorful, if you want it to be a little more dull, that's fine too. But now there's some smoke in here. So I'm just gonna load up some titanium white on my brush. And we just add this in. There we go. We can go right into the titanium white because it'll mix with everything. And it creates the smoke. There we go. Come back and get some more. And just circle that in. And what we're doing is we're just that explosion is just mixing that up. When you mix that like that, it just makes it look like it's more explosive. It's more forceful. It's coming out faster. There we go. You can go right over your keep there. Knock off some of that color you picked up. Go back to some more titanium white. There we go. Circle that up. And knock off some of what you picked up. Go back into your titanium white. And then maybe come here and give go a little bit softer. Giving a little more highlight in there. There we go. Right over the top of your wall there too. There we are. Now, clean off that brush. Now, just soften some of that out, but just pulling it away. There we go. And you see that gives you that explosive force that goes faster than your eye can see. As you pull that up and away. All right, now that we have that, oh, what a mess, what a mess. Now we know there was also, there was rocks and orcs and men and all of that mixed in with this explosion. So we do want to make just some big blocks in here that you can see being thrown out. There we go. Just put those in there and that way you know this thing had some force. 
and it's throwing all kinds of debris. You might be pretty scared to be standing anywhere near that. Anywhere near that. There we go. And remember, these will be silhouetted. <clears throat> remember, these will be silhouetted by the light of the explosion, so you don't have to highlight them too much. They are just in there, and everything you see is just blackness from your side. Because you have the bright light of that explosion back there. There we go. There we go. Some smaller debris up top as it's further away. All right, and there are also some ladders here. Some ladders that got blown up by that explosion. There we go. And there's still some ladders <clears throat> on this side. So just taking some ivory black and just put in the line of these ladders. Doesn't take much. And then with the short side of your blade, just put in the individual rungs. There we go. They don't have to be perfect. These ladders were made by orcs. They're no craftsmen. They are no craftsmen. No, no. They do not possess the skill for beauty as the elves or the dwarves. But effective they are at making the war machine. That is what makes them scary. Just put a few in here. There we go. There we are. Maybe another one in our explosion. Came out this way. We just want to show that the orcs did not care that their own were right in there. It didn't matter to them. Victory was all that mattered. Oh, but we know how it turned out for them, so we don't have to be too worried. Excuse me if I stand right in front of you again. There we go. And maybe you had an orc or two that was thrown. Even some men may have been in there. Just do some what we would call organic shapes. Just so you know, it's not just stone that was thrown up by that by that nasty concoction, that devilry of Saruman. Oh, and if you don't want to put these little guys in yours, you don't have to. You don't have to. I just, uh, oh, it's, it's the brutality of it all. That's right. Now, so this made a gape in our wall, but our wall still keeps going. So as I said, we paint this in layers. We did what was furthest back, then what's closer, and then our wall that's closest to us.
And we can come back to this and put some of this explosion in front of this part of the wall. But you want to make sure you keep that line as it was going from the beginning. I keep getting taller. So you come right over the top of that, but we can come and we'll put some highlight because some of that does come in front of the wall there. So now the wall over here, of course, has been decimated and torn apart. But we put that in, go back to our highlight color, so we can highlight the ramparts here. And we do want to make this a little brighter on this side. There we go. Come out over some of this, some of this mess here. There we are. That just gives us the broken look to that wall. There we go. <clears throat> now, of course, the orcs, they had their, their ladders up on this side as well. So let's throw a few of those in there too. We want to get it thin on there. We don't want them too thick. There we go. Now, if you want to come back in and put orcs and things right on your ladder, you definitely can do that. I would not object at all. There we go. And just cut in those rungs. There we go. Don't have to get too detailed there. Now let's come back to, oh, let's come back to one of our fan brushes. We'll just go, go into some of that, go into some of that fiery color and bring that fire right in front of the wall here. There we go, as it stretches out. And of course, you're going to pick up some dark as you do that. Just knock it off and come back in. There we go. It goes right over the top. Now, knock some of that off and come back to our Titanium white, and we can put some of that smoke highlighted in there. There we go. There we go. It gets a little messy, but that's what happens. That's what happens. And some of that. Some of that. There we go. Give that brush a clean. 
and then come back. And again, we're just going to pull this, pull this right over the wall. There we go. Just coming out, just coming out. That explosive force. Oh, I had quite a bit, so we lost some of our color, but that's okay. That's okay. Just pick it up. And then in this area, just really push that in. This is this is where some of the smoke, some of that comes out right there. So oh, they probably hurt as many of their soldiers, if not more, when they did this. But they don't care. They had, they had thousands to spare. And they're not really known to be very sympathetic creatures. That's right. Just pull that right out over the battlefield. Just right at the base of the wall to... There we go. There we go. Just rub that in. There we go. Now, of course, we had that whole army down here. All right, now I know we're running short on time, and that's why this technique is a perfect technique. Let me get all the paint off my hands. I keep getting it everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Now, we had our orc army down here, and what did they have? They had these long pikes. So those pikes stood up. It was one of those things you could see very well. So what we do is we're going to come in, We've cleaned off our palette knife and just start scraping out these pikes that filled the battlefield. And you can see very quickly do some shorter than others, some longer than others. That'll make some look further away, some look closer. If you go up here, so those will just be sticking out of the mist. There we go. Then you can even come with a palette knife. Just get a line on your black. And some that are those orcs that are standing closer to us. We'll just put those in as well. There we go. And you can see, you do this quickly, let's... There we go. Now, you can even come back. With the short end of your palette knife, just get a little bit of that, that highlight color on there. And just give a tip to the spears.
Just pick that up. There we go. And you have to be careful if you get into that black, just wipe it off. And just give some spearheads on those. So, not working too well for me. Come back, pick up some more. There we go. There we go. Now, if you want to, you can take a filbert brush and maybe do some orc helmets throughout. Yes. Of course, they all had the white hand of Saruman on there, so you can just come in and very quickly. You don't have to think about it a lot. This just shows that there was a host that was coming to this battle. That's right. That's right. Just put them down there. They all had the white hand of Saruman on their helmets. Oh, that works out well. That works out well just to show that there was thousands and thousands of these guys down here just waiting to get into the battle. Just waiting for their turn. Their turn to be defeated. That's right. Well, we all know it. It didn't go so well for our, our heroes at first. But... At dawn, look to the east. And... Maybe, maybe we need to paint that one as well. There we go. Very quickly, we've put an army in there. Just that quick. Just that quick. There we go. And you can even do a torch, maybe, if you want. Maybe if you want. Maybe there's a torch here and there. Because they did have their torches with them. There we go. And that quickly. We have our whole host of orcs down there. Now you can go and you can put some on the bridge if you want. You can put more flying up in the flames. Anything you want to do. It's your painting. It's your world. I just hope you had fun with me today. And, well, this, this is a terrible battle. But it's one of my favorite, favorite scenes from the book. And also, if you've seen the movies, oh, there's quite a portrayal there with some of the best music. Some of the best music I've ever heard in my life. All right. I hope you liked this painting today. Remember, it's your world. Do what you want. Just have fun with it. That's right. Experience that joy now. Goodbye and God bless.